So once again, to get to my effects palette, I go over here to the project window, I click on the purple icon, and I'm gonna grab the color effect, and I'll drag and drop it onto the first clip, and then I'm gonna click on what's called the effects mode, so that I can go in and make adjustments to the clip. Like for example, if I wanna desaturate the clip. So now if I were to double click on the clip, we can see that we have an effect track or it's like effect layer one. A lot of times we might wanna add more than one picture effect to a clip. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna close out the effect editor for just a second. So if I wanna add a second effect, you know, a lot of times people think, oh, I just go grab the effect and then I drop it on the clip. Well, what happened actually is you replaced the old effect with the new effect. See, the color effect's gone now. It just says blur effect, right? I'm gonna undo that, I'll Command Z. Now you can see we have the color effect back. We're still black and white. But what if I wanna put another effect on top of that? It's really simple, I just hold down the Option key, and when I Option drag the effect on there, now you can see that it added the blur effect on top of the color effect. Now if I double click on the clip, see that? If I double click and then double click again, you can see that now we have two different effects tracks or layers, right? If I want to uh, keep going here, let's add a mask. Once again, I hold down Option, I drag and drop it onto the main video clip, and then if I want to you know, adjust the effect, I have to go to the Effects Controls, and now look here, you can see in my list that we have you know, all these different effects that are in here.